Hi, to use gestures and shortcuts on your Honor Magic 7 Lite. As a first step, let's enable gestures because as you can see, I got buttons navigation. For that, we need to open settings and here find system and updates tab and then choose system navigation. And after that, simply go to gestures and confirm by tapping OK. Here you can also check this tutorial, so let's do it. To go back, we need to swipe inward from the left edge and the same we can do from the right edge. So here it is. Now to go to home screen, we need to swipe up from the bottom like that. And we went to the home screen. To view recent, swipe up and hold the finger. And now tutorial is completed, but also I want to show you how to switch between recently opened apps. For that, you can drag this line right or left like that. So as you can see, I'm just swiping left or right from this line on the bottom. Just like this. This is really easy and convenient to use. So you can see that everything is working just fine. And the next thing I want to show you is placed in gestures and shortcuts. So let's find accessibility features, choose shortcuts and gestures. And here we need to find screenshot. So now you can see that you can knock twice on the screen with a knuckle to take a screenshot. And here it is. But if this doesn't work in your case, you need to enable it so the switcher would be blue. Just tap it like that. Also, you can take partial screenshot with the help of knocking and drawing an enclosed area with the knuckle of the finger. And this is how it will look. You can also change its form and even set custom form like that. The next thing is scrolling screenshot. So you can knock and draw an S in app in which you can scroll or by opening any website you want to. Let's try scrolling screenshot in settings. For that, I'm going to knock and draw an S. Let's do it again. Knock and draw an S. Sometimes it does not work right. So let's just try it. And yep, here it is. Now it is automatically taken scrolling screenshot and we can touch it to end. And this is how it will look. So basically we can capture the whole settings or the whole web page and then tap this icon to save this image to the gallery. Great. Let's go back in screenshot. And the next thing I want to show you is free finger screenshot. So you can swipe down with three fingers and the screenshot would be taken immediately. And also we got here three finger global favorites. So you can do either a screenshot with three finger or you can enable global favorites. And let me show you how it will look. So basically you need to simply take a screenshot with the help of swiping down. And now this one would be added to the global favorites and you can find it on the right side of the phone. Here you'll see all of the screenshots which you just add to this global favorites. And to trigger it, you need to swipe left from the spread of the screen. And you can also tap on three dots, choose something, tap on more and you can delete this screenshot and leave the rest right now here. And now let's talk about screen recordings. So we need to go back in shortcuts and gestures and from here find record screen and enable to knock twice on the screen with two knuckles to start or end a screen recording. Let's try this out. Let's try this out on home screen. And yes, now it's working. So you can see this floating button with screen recording. 
time of the recording, you can enable microphone from here or disable. Now we can knock twice again to end this recording. So everything is working just fine and that's it for today. If this video was helpful, please subscribe, like and comment. And I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.